Make sure you follow me on social media to get updates and ask me questions. Enjoy the video! A problem that many people have when they build applications that connect via an API is the authentication. In our case, we will handle authentication using JWT or JWT, JSON Web Token. We will generate that token with Laravel and we will store it in our local storage. Then, whenever we make a request using the API that we will build in Laravel, we pass the token to authenticate the user that makes the request. Now, there is no need for talking, so let's start building the components. For the authentication, we obviously need a login component and a register component, so let's build the components. I will create a new folder called authentication. And inside of this folder, I will now create the two components, login.view and register.view. Remember, a component needs a template, a script, and style. Ok, so let's start building our components. First, I will start with the login. I will just paste the HTML code for the login form. There is nothing real here, just some HTML and some bootstrap classes. So make sure you copy everything. To show this login form, we have to take some steps, right? What are the steps? Well, we have already created the component, the login component, so now let's use it. I will display this component inside the app.view component. So to use it, we first have to import it. Import, and I will name this login from the location is components and then authentication login.view. Then we define it inside the components right here. So login login remember this is the name of the element we can say so since we have this as login here then inside the html we have to do we have to do it like this login so this name in here it totally depends on you also the same for this one so instead of login you could have this as sign in for example and then change this to sign in but of course, login, I think it makes more sense. So yeah, we will keep it like that. So to use a component, once again, we import it, we define it, and then we use it. Three little steps, just that. Okay, so now let's take a look. If I go back, you see this not very bad looking uh, form for the login, but yeah. Now I want to do some work with the script inside the login component right here. So. Let's define some data. For the login, we have email and password. So let's create the data. First, we have to export this, export default. We will see later what this is about, but for now, let's focus to the login component. So we need the data option. The only difference is that now with Webpack, this is a function. So the data now is a function. So you have to do it like this, data, this is all. Inside data now, you return the data that you want to define. So return, and here is where you specify the data. Okay, so login requires an email and a password. So what I want to do now is to see if my data is correct and whenever we type something, the data is updated. To do this, we can output the data. So I will go right here and I will say pre-tag and I will output the data. Now make sure you have this before the closing div. So everything has to be inside a parent element, we can say. And this div row here contains all the code. So if you have this outside, it will not work. Anyway, so now if I go back, you can now see the email and the password. And whenever I type something, this changes. And remember, this changes because inside the HTML, I have the V model directive. 
So the vModule directive will use two-way binding and whenever you type something inside this input here, you change the email and whenever you type something in this input here, you change the password. So as you can see here, we bind the email to this data right here and we also bind the password to this data right here. So whenever you type something in these two inputs, you update the data. And you already know that because we have actually used the vModel in the beginners series for Vue.js. The only issue I have regarding this output here is that there is a much better way to do this. So if I inspect this and I go to the console and I refresh, you will see that it says download the Vue Dev tools for a better development experience. So if you click here and you scroll down a bit, you can see that we have a link. Now this tool, this extension is available only for Google Chrome. So make sure you use Google Chrome throughout the series and you can go to the web store and then you can just add this to Chrome, add extension. And to use this, make sure you close your browser and then you open it again. So let me go back to my port. This is where I run my project, 8081. In your case, most probably it is in 8080. Anyway, so if I go back now, you can now see that we have this new option available, the view option. And if I go here and then log in, you can now see that we have email and password. So whenever we type something, this updates as well. So this panel here is really not needed. So let's just delete this. Go back, already disappeared. And let me try this again. We type something, it changes for the password, the same. Okay, so now let's quickly build the register component. I will go back to this. I will copy the template from login because it is pretty much the same and paste it here. The only difference is that we have to add an additional field for the name. So this now should be name, the vModel. The type is text and the placeholder is name. Now for the email and the password, they're okay. Now the button here should say register. And let's also create the script, export default data. It is a function, remember returns the data that you want to use. So we have name, it will be empty string whenever we start. We also have email and password. Okay, so let's now use this back to the app.view. I will just copy this so we do not type that again. Register and register here as well. Now I will copy this and change this to register and register. Okay, so let's use this. Register, register. So hopefully everything is okay. Let's go back. Yep, we have the second panel for the register. So if you take a look at this here now, look at this. So login, we have email and password. And for the register, we have email, name and password. So if I type something here, example, at example.com, you can see that the email is changed, but for the register, it is not because they're completely different components. So they have nothing in common actually. So yeah, the data might be the same, the naming, but they still have nothing in common except that, you know, they have the same names. So you can say here, for example, Renato, and I don't know, a test maybe at gmail.com and secret. So yeah, as you can see, they are totally different. They have nothing in common uh, because we have everything inside, you know, the app.view component and the app.view component is the root of the application. I now want to do something like this, login, and then we can show the login component and register to show the register component. So in the next video, we will see how we can do that by using routing.